YouTube, I'm back, and today I'm going to be doing a, it's sort of a what's in my bag video, but I'm going to be switching out my bag from the bag I've been using for the last couple of weeks um, to my vintage bag. And as you can see, they seem drastically different in size, but I, I could fit everything I'm holding in here into this bag over here. So we're, we're going to get started. So I'm going to empty everything out. I'll also give you a chance to see again how much this bag can hold. And it gives me a chance to do some house cleaning. Right now I'm taking everything out of the main compartment of the bag, the main body of the bag. all sorts of things in here. It's really not that bad. Now I'm taking everything out of the front pockets. Coupons, receipts. You'll see a ton of lip glosses and lipsticks. So that's oh, a splendor. That's the two front pockets, and now I'm taking everything out of the back wall pockets. Oh, there's my Kindle. Fits perfectly in the back wall zip pocket. I like to keep it there because then I zip it away and you really can't see it. It doesn't really affect the weight of the bag. Okay, so now the bag is completely empty. And I noticed, which I didn't notice before, that it's collared in the vaquetta leather on the corners, which I'm assuming is supposed to keep the structure of the bag. But I would think that if they collared the entire length of the bag with the leather, that it would help maintain the, the zipper a little bit better, so it wouldn't do the wavy thing. But this bag didn't wonk out or wave too badly. Oh, and here's the front of the bag. Let's uh, zoom in a little bit closer, and I just want to show you how the vaquetta is aging. It's really, really tanned very nicely, and I got this bag in March, so as you can see, the bottom's a little bit lighter, and there's some water spotting, but I'm just going to let it do its thing, and as it ages, all of that should blend in quite nicely. Cat just sniped my video. Okay, so now we're going to take everything from here, kind of sort out, sort out the stuff I don't need to put back, like all of these receipts. They can go. Use my gift card on gas. I may or may not put my Kindle back in there, because that's something I haven't tried with this bag, so we kind of just see how that works out. So all of this paperwork, I'm going to put on the side to sort out. Same thing with this. The Kindle's a maybe. Oh, more coupons and so I have to sort through that. So that's not going back in. But that doesn't affect any bulk of the bag. So here we are. So I'm going to be put this in the front because I like to grab my key tags. slips in the front. May or may not stay there. I'll put what obviously has to go back, the wallet. I may or may not put that back in there, so we'll just put that as a maybe. My toiletry bag. My pill case. So far so good. My pen which I'll also, for now, stick in the front. Spare pen. A good pen for me and a good, uh, a pen I don't really care if I pass it along to somebody else who forgot to, to get back. So then I don't really need three lipsticks. So I'll just put one back and I'll put it on the, in the back wall pocket. Right there, there's a pocket that's, I'll pull it out. The, the pockets are identical. 
and it's a slip and a snap and a zip. So um, I'll use first slip and I'll throw in my lip gloss. And this is my coin case. And what I'll do is I'll put the coin case in the front wall pocket in the slip. It fits perfectly in there. It was like meant to be. So then that will be tucked back in. I just I wouldn't normally pull it out to put my stuff. I just wanted to be able to show you that so you could see it fully. I'll put my Splenda in the pocket. I have a five-year-old, so I'll just throw that pop in there. An emergency pop, just in case we're out and he gets a little cranky or needs a little incentive. I have my cord to my iPhone 4S in the car, so I'll just keep that if I go inside and I want to plug it into an outlet. Body spray, hand sanitizer, and these are my mailbox keys, which I really don't need because I have another set of mailbox keys hanging by the door as I walk out. I grab those, so these are really supposed to be hanging by the door as well. So they're not gonna go back in. Travel size moisturizer, that'll go in there. And all my keys. With the vintage bags, there's no key keeper, so they just go right there. And as you can see, I could put in my Kindle with no problem, so I'll do that. And then, I don't think I'm going to put this in here. I could, and it would fit no problem. It would just be stacked on top, which may or may not be a, a little bit of an inconvenience. But for the sake of the video, to show you how much it can hold and to show you that it holds everything that... This bag holds. Of course, there's more room left with this, where this things are kind of stacked on each other, but it's still it's not an, a major inconvenience. And this is probably another toiletry bag. Yeah. So I have things that I may need if I wanted to run into the restroom, and not necessarily want to bring my my whole bag with me. Like if I'm in a restaurant with my husband, uh, I'll tell him, hey, hon, just keep an eye on this. I'm just going to run to the restroom. So I usually tuck a wristlet. But I already have the other one in there, so it's kind of redundant, actually, now that I think about it. So this will not go in there. So there you have it. Everything that I had in my cart bag fits nicely in my vintage bag. So you can tell by the quality of this bag that ladies do not feel bad about spending a little extra on yourself because the bags will hold up. This was trimmed in a smooth leather which uh, I've been told this bag is made circa 1985. So if this leather holds up, held up beautifully, all the bags that we're currently purchasing that are trimmed in the Vaquetta leather will definitely hold up. This has the brass Duck logo held up beautifully. The leather held up beautifully. Has a the good brass zip. And this is these zippers are called the YKK zippers. These are the luggage quality zippers. The only thing I'm going to pick up is a brass cleaner because there's some tarnishing on the zipper, but the zipper is intact. So I'm I'm certain that this will come off with a good quality cleaner. The zipper opens and closes effort, effortlessly. And I like the older bags that they extended out. The newer bags if, that are that have similar style to this, they only come out to here. So you only you're only opening the bag like this, but since it comes out, you can really get into this bag. And this bag has held its structure. So when you see the Dooney shows on QVC and they say that this bag will keep its structure, it definitely will because this was meant to be a more structured bag and it's better than 20 years old and it still has kept its structure. And it's been around the block, I guess you would say, because it was purchased, I purchased this from a consignment shop and the lady that runs a consignment shop uh, 
bought it from a lady that was storing it in her closet. So I, it looks like it was very well cared for. But So there you have it. I hope... I didn't ramble too much, but I hope that you really got something out of this video. So if you see this style bag on eBay or in the consignment shop, definitely if it's if it's the style you like, I would definitely snap it up because these they're not completely rare, but they're not as easy to come by, especially in the condition as I have with mine. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comment section. And um, have a good day. Thanks. Bye.